Welcome everyone back again to another video on this channel. This time the question is, where is my junk mail folder on the iPad? Well, essentially to just get started, what you want to make sure is to locate the mail application. So we're going to click on that and you can obviously just browse through your regular, regular emails and everything. But in order to get the junk folder, you need to tap on this like side button view. So like more options are going to pop up and you can see all of your mailboxes and stuff. But when I click on iCloud right here, more options or more folders are going to pop up and junk folder is right here. So I can just click on this. You can see there's nothing inside. So yeah, but at least I know where it is. Also, what's important to know is that perhaps this is not what you're looking for. So you can click on edit and from the original mailbox, you might add some other folders in here as well. So perhaps flagged is technically a junk folder as well, you know, whatever you can consider that however you want. Or for example, the muted threads are perhaps some things that, you know, considered to be junk, but you, you, when you just select it and then when you hit done, it is always going to show up on the left side in the panel, which is going to make them more accessible. Depends on what you need. And before we wrap up the video, I want to let you know that obviously I just want to remind you that you don't have to stick with this mail client if you don't like it. If for whatever reason you don't like how it's organizing or your mail, whatever, right? You still have the ability to just go to the app store, look up the mail of any kind of, uh, from any developer that you like, and you can get a different app, right? So some people use Outlook, some people use Gmail. I personally use Gmail a lot more than this one. So you can see the very same like address or or you might as well just log in with the same email address, whatever, right? But you can just have like a different user experience, whatever you like, but you have more options than just this mail client from Apple. So let me know most definitely which one you like to use. But if that's everything, hope you found this video helpful. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more and I'm going to see you later on in the next video.